welcome back to the channel guys uh, if you are a returning subscriber then lovely to see you again and if you're a new viewer then thank you for watching thank you for clicking on the, uh, on the video and uh, hopefully you enjoy them and uh, feel free to go to the channel and uh, check out the rest uh, they are there you also might have noticed that the, at the start of this video I got the bike out of the back of a van and not my garage so I am actually up in the Midlands at the moment I'm up on a, a course up here so if anyone's got any suggestions of what roads to go along what cafes to visit um, any good biking spots or biking meet places yeah just fire them in the comments please that would be greatly appreciated I'm up here for another couple of weeks hopefully I get this video out but that is not why we're here uh, to talk, to talk we're going to talk about um, the trousers that I am wearing today is a review of the Revit Poseidon 2 Gore-Tex trousers now I've had these trousers for a month two months now um, it was just before I'm kind of glad just before the storms hit the UK uh, Storm Kira and Dennis and uh, George as well I've come out quickly and uh, I'm glad I got them because I rode throughout those storms I don't have a car I use my bike for everything so having proper trousers was a big thing now I did do a video a while ago about uh, my winter gear and I'll put a link that up in the, the corner there that still stands I still use that so I use my bike jeans and some of these my waterproofs um, if I'm just nipping through town and stuff like that uh, where I don't want bulky or all weather jeans and, or trousers on uh, but for the bigger journeys and you know if it is looking at horrendous weather then I've got these I will um, admit straight away that yes they are expensive the expensive trousers but I am a big believer on that you get what you pay for and I could have went for probably cheaper ones and they would have been fine but I just wanted to be if I bought these and I just knew they were going to be good they were Gore-Tex and everything any of the reviews that I've seen where there was barely any complaints or anything so or if actually no complaints on them when the reviews and uh, yeah so I thought I'd go for these and I'm glad I did I'm glad I did so but let's just talk about what they like on the bike and uh, maybe when we jump back to my room later on we uh, can talk more detail of what's actually on the trouser itself so on the bike these are for me very comfortable I am um, 95 kilograms I am about 5 foot 11 and uh, that's an extra large pair of jeans as well so they and they fit me perfectly you know I when I first got them on I thought they were going to be a bit snug uh, they're quite heavy duty but also kind of once I wore them over the last month or so they have uh, really broken in kind of softened up and stuff like that and I have to admit that they've been great I've done some bigger journeys in them with fuller days in them and uh, they've been very comfortable there's I thought at first when I put them on because they were quite heavy duty that they were going to be tight across the thigh and also especially as my feet down um, when it comes to a stop but there's been no bother there at all absolutely none um, and let's say as of the broken that's just got nice and comfortable and fits me really really well uh, there's no tightness in between the crotch either like between the tank and stuff so it's really really good uh, they do have a uh, knee pad in them and uh, again really really good no discomfort there no pinching behind the knee either uh, which is really good another thing I would look forward to and uh, look for in, in a pair of jeans especially if I'm going to wear them for fuller days and longer riding um, and that's kind of also why I got them I did get them uh, originally was because uh, me and my mate are planning doing a, a bigger journey later on in the, in the year so I wanted a pair of trousers that I could just fling on doesn't matter what the weather is uh, I can take the thermal lining out of them they're going to keep me dry all that good stuff and I just don't have to uh, worry about it you know it's, it's there it's going to do the job and I do think it's money well spent I have got uh, my bike trainer on with them so it's a obviously a lighter smaller um, lighter smaller uh, uh, shoe should I say down there and they fit on there they fit really snug around there I'll talk a bit more about the fastening system down there we've got about a love-hate relationship 
but if you didn't want to wear a bigger bulkier boot then there's, there's definitely enough room there for that as well so it's uh, they're really thought about it uh, about sizing making sure they do fit everyone so I think there's a lot of adjustment up by the waist where the buckle is it's not a buckle sorry it's more like a, a, uh, a button and latch sort of system and uh, yeah, they, it's really good. It's like I say, it's, it's comfy and it's adjustable and everything, so there's no dramas there. But yeah, on the bike, really good. I'm happy to do big journeys in them. I will be hopefully doing a big, uh, bigger journeys in them. I have done full days and they've been great. I absolutely love them. You know, it's been, to me, it's been money well spent. Um, it might be a lot of money, but it's, it's done me. Uh, I can't really complain. Uh, and I'm usually quite stingy with my money sometimes uh, where I you know but I'm, when it comes to the bike I like to buy good gear that is going to last me and that's what I think these are so we'll jump back to uh, my room and we'll talk a bit more in depth about the uh, about the jeans themselves so we're now back in the room and uh, my temporary room at the moment and let's just talk a bit more about the features of the trousers in depth and stuff like that so as we saying on the bike uh, how they felt on there, it all felt pretty good and now they've broke them in. So let's cover some more in-depth stuff. They are, I was saying, and as you can probably see, they are a very heavy duty trouser, but they're not uncomfortable, they're not heavy, they're about probably the same weight as a, a leather jean as well, but with that, it gives you that feeling of confidence as well, that it's, it's a good quality product. The jeans themselves, I've got both a short and long uh, YKK zip for obviously whatever you're wearing them with. Uh, I tend to use a short one with my Risha jacket, my textile, but if for some reason I put my leather jacket on there, I could probably use the long one as well. Uh, along with that as well, they are set up so you can use them with suspenders and you just use the long zip with uh, the suspenders going over your shoulders obviously and you can use them that way if you don't attach it to a jacket. Along with that, it has got these waist straps and here are waist adjustments. Uh, mega easy when you when you put them on and stuff like just once they're on you just uh, slide them along I think it's easier to do it when they're on or <laughs> but um, you just adjust them on both sides and I get a very snug fit to be honest which is quite good and also means if I've got bulkier stuff on I can have it a lot more comfortable to where I want it um, I can have heavy stuff on thinner stuff on and they just help adjust it along with that they're a bit elasticated as well the front, um, I quite like this mechanism as well. It's kind of like just sliding lock um, buckle. So the latch goes on there, slides in, and then you can hear that audible click of when it's nice and secure in there. And that is on there pretty solid. And along with that, it's got waterproofing right up to the way, so you are generally not getting any water in there at all. And especially if you've got a waterproof jacket, it's doubled up. On the inside, you, as you can see, you've got the thermal layer. Now it doesn't feel like a really thick thermal layer um, but let's see I've worn these down to two degrees celsius and they've been perfectly fine um, along with obviously because they're not letting the wind in, none of the water in, that thin thermal layer just does the job perfectly fine. If you do need to take that out it is just the zip along here to remove the thermal layer as simple as that and it's the same down the bottom. As we're in here you can see we've also got space for some hip padding as well that does come with just some thin foam layer at the moment but you can get obviously uh, an upgrade if you want to put that in there it's a nice big pocket so you can get the, the hip on there as well and obviously you're hanging up toggles as well to get them hang up to dry I've found because it's an outer Gore-Tex layer that they dry really quickly um, I drive uh, right into work in the morning I get soaking wet by the afternoon when I need to ride again to, to go home for lunch these are bone dry again so we've also then got two quite large pockets actually in here with a solid, as you can see, waterproof zip in there and uh, they are quite reasonable sized pockets so you can fit quite a lot in there and it's also underneath the flap so again no water, any raining down water is not going to suddenly seep its way in there. Moving down again, this is then the ventilation pocket and again just a solid waterproof zip. It is held on with Velcro here, which I was a bit cautious of before, but if I can get this open, and you can see how easily that clips in 
there to stay on there. And again, it's just a nice, it's not coming off unless you lift it up and place it back down. And then there you can see, obviously it's got a bit of pan, a bit of venting, but round the edge of it here, they have got a little ridge. And I've not had any water come underneath here at all, but you know from if any water does seep up through where the, the Velcro is, this ridge is gonna catch and it's not actually gonna seep inside here. And again, I've bought these in terrible, terrible weather and uh, I've had no water uh, managed to seep into here yet. So, you know, you just pull it off, put it down, and unzip, that unzip to a re-zip and uh, you're good to go. Yeah, I've got knee pad in there. Again, you can always upgrade that if need be, but that is, I think it's, if I have a look, CE2, I think it is. Um, pad and it's in the knee there. And it's, sits perfect fine. I never have it sitting awkward. It always seems to be perfectly fine for me. So I'm quite, quite happy with that. On here, this is a bit of a, a stretch material. Uh, so like again, that added, added com comfort in there as well. Is uh, just gonna help when you're on the bike. Around the back as well, you've also got a couple of uh, grip pads and uh, again, I can, all I can say is they did the job, I've not slid about the place, I did used to have a pair of textile drowsers that I felt that I was sliding about quite a lot, but I've not felt with these, and these two really grippy pads do make that difference. And up here as well, this is all stretch material as well. Now moving on down, you have got another um, strap there to also fasten up a bit around the, the top of the calf which for me I've got it on pretty tight and uh, there's still enough room in there so that's not too bad. I will say the one thing I'm not as keen on with these trousers is this Velcro and uh, to fasten and tighten up around the boot. It's a little disappointing for such a premium and quite expensive trouser. Uh, the idea of it when it works is, is brilliant. So you've got the Another zip there with an overlaying uh, Gore-Tex uh, strip and you also zip that down and you've got tons of space if you've got a boot or a trainer on it and then obviously the idea is to then fold it over to make it nice and tight and if it sits the way it's meant to it's, it's great but I tend to find because it's velcro and especially these sort of stiffer bits up here it does kind of come under a, a little bit not enough to fully annoy me and not enough to like be like hey don't buy these trousers but uh, it's just something that is, I think it could be a better way of doing that to even have a couple more of these just loosen off and you can tighten it up properly. But that is the only problem I've had with them, the only annoyance with them as well. Uh, you've got also your high vis stripped in the side and stuff that as well, so it's a good night time. And like I say, the thermal layer comes right down to the bottom of the foot there and you can just undo the, the zip. On the inside and then you can take that thermal layer out so it comes right down to the very bottom so talking about the Gore-Tex uh, if I have a quick look it is a mixture of both 2L and 3L Gore-Tex and for people who don't know uh, the 2L and 3L is just reference to the layers so for the most part that's a uh, top half and uh, down to about here are all 3L and there's uh, another down the bottom, it's a, it's a 3L as well down here, but it's a, a pro fabric, whatever that means. It's not, I'm not fully clued up on that. Uh, a couple in between are, let's have a look. This bottom, this front bottom section, sorry, is a 2L, uh, which is still really, really good. Doesn't let any water in. And all the L's I uh, mean to is the fact maybe a waterproof layer, uh, windproof layer, whatever. And you also have a mesh layer in there as well for comfort and stuff like that. And then on top of that you've also got your stretch fabrics, they're all Gore-Tex, the full thing. And uh, yeah, and it's the same on the back, that's a 2L and it's 3 down the whole thing. So fully waterproof and I can confirm that as, as I've had them in both Storm, Kira and Dennis in Rotra and they were fantastic. Overall I would say they're an expensive buy. So if it's not within your budget, then then don't feel you have to go and get them. I'm not going to say go and get them, but I managed to get a good deal with them. Uh, and I'm glad I bought them. And to be honest, if they last me a good few years and I need to replace them, big chances I'll probably buy the, the same ones again. Um, that's how, how much I've been happy with them over the last couple of months through the storms and stuff like that as well. So yeah, that is the Revit Poseidon 2 Gore Textures. I will put a link in the description if you want to have a 
a look at that um, and go see all the details for yourself. And also along that, if you do uh, want to ask any questions, get in the comments section and find a question that I'll try and answer to the best of my ability. Uh, like I said, I've only had them for a couple of months, and but I've used them pretty much every day along with that. But that is pretty much it. I think that's cover, covers it. There's only so much you can talk about trousers. So guys, if you have liked this video, then please give it a thumbs up. It always shows me that you, you're liking the videos and I'm happy to do more of them. I enjoy the process and I enjoy uh, putting the videos out there for us. If you do like them, uh, please like them. If you want to see more, then please subscribe as well. There it is. I've got a good selection on there now. Uh, as you can see, from the very start up until now, hopefully slowly improving with the quality of them as well. And uh, we want to continue to do so. So I think that's everything. So cheers to everyone who has watched and, uh, and everyone who's subscribing. And I'll see you in the next video.